What's up? This is Will Billy Two Fist McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com. Uh, today we got something really cool going for it. Uh, check it out. A lot of times you can just break it up and really come up with some really cool ideas just by moving things a little bit around. For you new guys, I know a lot of times it seems overwhelming because like what you hear your heroes doing sounds so complex, but um, a lot of times it's just like really just taking your time and breaking it down. Uh, if you talk to any of your friends or uh, any of your heroes that are like really successful uh, fast speed drummers, they'll be the first to tell you that it's all about being very patient and very uh, meticulous when it comes to trying to execute uh, things at a, at a rapid speed or uh, any kind of melody or music for that matter. You take your time. Um, those, your goal will come, but you have to start slow as opposed to stumbling and running. You know, this is three notes per string, so my first uh, finger is on the uh, lowest string, which is the E string. All right, the low E string uh, notes are the fifth fret, sixth fret, and the ninth fret. First finger on the fifth fret, second finger on the sixth fret, and pinky on the ninth fret. Then coming to the A string, my first finger starts on the, on the fifth fret. And then my third finger comes down here on the uh, seventh fret and my fourth finger comes down here on the uh, on the eighth fret and then moving down to the D string my first finger starts on the fifth fret and then coming down here a little bit further my uh, third finger comes down to the uh, the seventh fret and then uh, fourth finger on the uh, D string it comes down to the eighth fret and then coming down to the G string, my first finger starts on the 6th fret. And then my second finger starts here on the 7th fret. And then uh, my fourth finger comes down here on the ninth fret. And then on the B string, my first finger starts on the 6th fret. My second finger comes here on the 8th fret. And my uh, fourth finger uh, comes here down on the 10th fret. And then coming back on the E string, my first finger starts here on the 6th fret. My uh, four, third finger starts here on the 9th fret. And then my fourth finger also comes down here on the 10th fret. So when you, the scale sounds somewhat like this. Now that you know the scale I'm pulling from, now here's the riff I'm playing. I'm using a couple of dyads in it just to kind of add a little, a little more flavor to it, but I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, it's, it's another rhythm that is pedaling off E like we always do. The beginning of the riff starts on the, uh, on the D string. My first finger, or my, uh, my fourth finger here, is on the eighth fret. And uh, my uh, third finger comes on the, on the seventh fret. And my first finger comes back here on the, uh, the fifth fret, all on the D string. So it's... And then um, copying down the A string uh, on the fifth fret, I'm hammering on, I'm picking this one. Hammering on with the third uh, finger on the uh, seventh fret. And then the pop, that note, is uh, the fifth fret of the D string. And it's all a balancing act with the pedal tone. The little punch, but bum bum, is uh, my first finger. Actually, starting with my second finger here, I'm on the uh, A string on the fifth fret. 
uh, played at the exact the same time is uh, with my first finger on the D string on the fourth fret. Together, it sounds like that. Now, the punch part of it is sliding this whole thing up and using my third finger on the seventh fret on the A string and my first finger here uh, on the uh, fifth fret of the D string. It might take a little bit of time to get that used to if you've never uh, played dios before, but uh, to you, you guys that have been out there doing it for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It, it adds a little more tension to it. What you can either do the chord or just just pounding on the e, on the on low E string is basically just a little bit of palm muting. Like I said, I just rest my hand gently on the bridge here, lightly on the strings, not really heavy because you want it to sound, but to have a little punch, you know, when you're playing it. So. And also in this in the cycle of this uh, this exercise, I'm also pounding on the on the E on the E fifth as well as just the E string. So I'm starting off just with the uh, with the with the E string. That that riff was really like uh, like basically there's a lot of bands like the Absence. Um, uh, all these bands really get a lot of their influence from like uh, really killer bands that's still around like Iron Maiden and all that. But it's all about the uh, so the pulsation of it, um, Machine Head's another band that uses a lot of rhythms where they have like little lead breaks and they come back and it's still moving, no matter what, it's still moving. And that's the, that's the whole thing about the exercise is like breaking up um, a scale along with whatever rhythm that you're doing and working them together. Um, the more band guys you have in, 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 your, in your outfit are really going to groove on that because the first thing you'll notice is that everybody's head starts to nod. And then you start to see maybe the one guy just goes completely off and is having the time of his life. Um, that's when you know you really have something and uh, just, just keep pounding or pounding away. Take your time, like I said. Um, uh, don't, don't try to hammer through it as fast as possible. A lot of your ideas might be faster than what your hands can do. But um, a lot of it happens to be a lot of muscle memory. Um, by doing it slow, like just think of yourself as a professional athlete. You know, those guys have to stretch before they go and play their big game. So, you know, taking your time, staying cool, uh, and um, uh, realizing that even when you're playing really fast, it's a matter of being relaxed in your hands and everything with, uh, that, that allows you to do that. Tension does nothing for playing quick. Um, take your time when you're focusing. Um, another thing with, uh, with the lick is, um, like I said, you can stress whatever part of the lick that you want, and this works in every single type of chord situation or whatnot. You can uh, make it minor, diminished, or whatever, whatever you want as far as um, different modes or, or whatnot. Uh, this has been Will Billy, Two Fists McGee with Next Level Guitar. Uh, keep it metal always, and uh, definitely get after it and get practicing. I want to see you out there at the clubs, man. Right on. Peace.